As a barn owner, there's a lot to be done on the property every single day. Horses need to be fed, cared for, turned in and out, ridden, and so much more. Horses aren't the only animals that I have here. I also have to care for many other creatures on my farm. This property I live on is full of life. Flowers are beginning to bloom from the frightful frosts that have amassed over the lands, and we can see a few bees poke out from their newly made nests after the winter season forced them into hibernation. But that being said, this property isn't mine. My uncle owns it. Being a family man, he has always been very close with me and my relatives, but over the years, he has realized that family can only get him so far. My uncle has decided to sell off his excess land, including this piece that I live on. Thankfully, I have enough money to buy a small broken down property in the plains not far from here. My uncle agreed to help me unearth and move some of my structures to the new property, but sadly, I can't take all of it. you will have to say goodbye to a lot of things at my old place. I'm not sure how to do this whole vlog thing. Is this even on? I'm packing up my office right now. There's not much here other than files to take, but I will miss this place. All of these books, but I've only read a few of them when I was bored. Can't forget my desk chair. I paid a lot for that. House packing time. I'm just packing the loose items because this house will be uprooted from the ground and safely transported to my new place. So everything can stay here unless it will fall from the shelves. A lot to pack. After packing all of my things, it was time to begin loading up the horses. It would be up to the new owners if they wanted to keep the structures. I had to make two different trips with my horses because there were only three slots in my horse trailer. So I put the mares in first, which is Tara May Sue, Dove, and Pumpkin, and then I transported Kings and Dolphin after. Sue and Dove were easygoing, accepting, and took the trailer just like another day out of their stall. But Pumpkin? She had an attitude, as always. My beloved fiery chestnut mare made sure to show her displeasure that I was ripping her from the comfort of her stall and was wondering why I wasn't pasturing her. She also made sure to try and damage my property while she was at it too. The property's old barn and ranch house were ruined beyond repair due to years of improper care. The seller sadly had to get rid of them prior to me moving my structures in, which worked perfectly for me because I had to move my barn and my house over. The trailer was skillfully parked with some guidance from me, and my uncle helped me drive it over. After he departed, it was time to begin unloading my horses. After the barn was transported and set, I went through and set up the stalls. The horses were placed inside and we got their food and water set up. Each horse got their water buckets, a grain feeder, a slow feeder, and their designated color cones so we can keep their color codes organized. This will make it much easier to set up pastures too. The next day was a big day. It was time to clean up the property. This property was sold to me at a discounted price to make up for the fact that my old one was ripped away from me at such short notice. They had a few beautiful pastures on the property, but they were overgrown with weeds and bushes. There were barely any places for the horses to roam, and worst of all, bees everywhere. The bushes were mixed with sharp thorn branches, which would hurt the horses. These pastures were not fit for horses, so I had to get to work. 
Clearing bushes wasn't easy. When I thought I was making a dent, there was so much more to do and not a lot of equipment to do it. Once the sun began to sink behind the mountains, I had already cleared out all the pastures, but tomorrow held so much more for me to do. I went ahead and moved the trailer to the edge of the property where it'd be safe until I needed it again, and I worked on the lunging pens. The next day, it was the arena, which was covered with loose gravel and rocks from winds and storms. It was natural for the ground to be moved around like this over the years, so I dug out what I could and re-leveled the ground with sand. This sand would be fit for the horses and wouldn't have any gravels or rocks in it. The flowers around it were beautiful, but they were mixed with weeds and grass, so I did my best to uproot the weeds and put in more flowers. It was a lot of work, but a once broken down and uninhabited property was turned into something beautiful. I was hoping the old owners, wherever they were, would be proud of how far it had come in a matter of days. The horses were happy as well, having a place of their very own to enjoy. Along with the move, I had to make sure the horses were okay as well. Every year they get their annual checkups, and it was about time for them to get their annuals anyway, so I had a vet come into the barn and do a quick check. Pumpkin looks good. She is getting a little chubby, though. Her last weight wasn't close to this. Is she brooding? Oh, oh no, she won't be brooded. She's just been a little inactive because of the move. I plan to get them all up and going again. Yeah, you must be pretty busy making this place habitable again, huh? You have a lot to live up to with the old owners. See, the seller wouldn't give me any info about the old owners. I was a little hesitant to buy because of the lack of history, but I'm glad I did. It's beautiful here. Oh, you don't know? About the history of the property? <laughs> You're about to tell me this place is haunted and cursed, aren't you? Did I buy a property that has a history? <laughs> no, no. The old owners were Richard and Amy Smart. They were kindred souls. Richard passed away years ago, but Amy kept going strong. Recently, Amy was getting too old to keep the property taken care of, and it became unkept. Yeah, I plan to get it back to its original glory. Wonderful! I will let all of my clients know and send them your way. I wish you the best, Miss Peachy. Keep these horses healthy. They will all look amazing. Clients? My way, what? Hello? 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 Is this the smarts? I have an urgent case. I'm sorry if I'm intruding. Sorry, I, I think you have the wrong number. This must be an old line for you. Well, it must have, because this was the number my mom called to reach Mrs. Amy Smart. I apologize. Call me back if you have her contact. There's a horse in need. Did Mrs. Smart used to use this line? <sighs> I guess. There was a room where she was put in a home by her granddaughter, but I wanted to make sure. So you're taking over the rescue, right? So that's what the vet meant. I didn't know this was a rescue before. I bought the land in rough shape. Yeah, Mrs. Smart couldn't take care of it for a while. Listen, if you're open to taking horses, I have a handsome boy who's ready to be picked up. The land belongs to the bank, so it's only a matter of time before he's taken by someone. And I want to make sure he's taken by someone who has his best intentions in mind. Well, that's the thing. I have the space, but I don't know anything about a rescue. The paperwork, legal work, documents, I don't even know where to begin. My mom used to tell stories of Amy and Rich. They have been rescue workers since they were newlyweds. Even before then, I'm sure. After a while, it's less about the paperwork and more about the horses. Plus, I have many friends who would love to adopt. There's not one adoption agency for equines in this area. Isn't that horrible? Really? Wow. Well, let me think on it. I can't say yes just yet until I evaluate my situation. I just moved, so I want to make sure I'm not overdoing it. Of course. I will keep him fed, but I'm not sure how he's doing physically. Hopefully he can last a few more weeks out there, but it's getting hot out. Anyways, you have my number now. Call me if you want to know the place. When the phone call ended, all I wanted to do was pick it up and dial her number again. The story was interesting. I wanted to know more. But what if I took in this horse and it ended up being a mistake? But what if I left that horse and it ended up suffering? My heart and brain were at each other, and it was tough to tell which one would win. Now was my choice. Would I ignore the somewhat vague calling of continuing this rescue ranch? Or would I push the offers away to let them find another place? I had the space, and I had the time, but did I have what it took to dedicate all I had to help these horses? Hey, I'm glad you could make it back to me. This is the property behind mine. I smelled horrible smells and heard horrible noises. Turns out the people who own this place gave it up to the bank years ago. This horse has been sitting out here for some time, and I have been feeding him, but I can't take him. He's as sweet as pie and very gentle, and he has never tried to hurt me. Here, come inside. You can walk up to him. See? He is so docile. 
he doesn't look very healthy. He'll need a vet check. A dental, probably a good path. See, you're already planning to do amazing things. So, will you do it? Will you save him? 